as a college every year. And the first one that we are going to be introducing today is the Outstanding Achievements Award. And the gift is there, and I will invite the person up um, once I have shared my introduction. If this was a football awards ceremony, <laughs> the outstanding achievement would not just go to the top goal scorer or top goalkeeper or top defender, but it would go to the person who has made significant contribution in many areas and in many ways. This person has excelled in more ways than one. Strong academically, yes, but more than this, they have contributed to the life of the college through their attitude and their actions. Loved by staff and students alike, this person is always diligent, showing a willingness to go the extra mile and always wants to take the opportunity to learn and to grow. If we could take one thing from the life of this person, it is this. Let's all be a lifelong learner. Outside of college life, this person has excelled at local church level. Having come from a brilliant home church, their upbringing has certainly contributed to a healthy attitude to local church engagement. As a person who oversees church placements, I've never had any worries or concerns regarding their contribution in this way. Indeed, we in Lincoln have been blessed to have them for their first two years on placement. They will also be going on to work with a fantastic local church when they leave. I'm delighted to present this award to an outstanding young man whose best years are ahead of him. It's been a privilege to know you and we are all better for the experience. So this year's Outstanding Achievement Award, you may well have guessed by now, goes to the man, Mr Paul Jones. Sure. 